What's up guys, today we're gonna be doing some airdrop hunting, which is why I have got our top 10 dApps without a token, which are most likely to do an airdrop next. Now, before we go into the list, I do wanna mention that the Linea mainnet has officially launched. This happened yesterday, and it's very likely that these are gonna be launching their own governance token at some point. So you wanna be interacting with a lot of dApps in their ecosystem as uh, soon as possible. Now, I will be doing a separate video about Linea, but just just so you know, Linea is going to be a heavy hitting airdrop, which is going to be valued a lot, probably more than actual Arbitrum. I mean, this is the only chain that is actually verified here on MetaMask, a lot aside from Ethereum. Not Polygon, Binance, Smart Chain, they don't have officially verified status on MetaMask. You have Infura involved, Besu involved, MetaMask obviously, and a lot of like developers from literal consensus, which are the people behind Ethereum. So this is gonna be a large project, but more about that in its separate video. So let's start out with our first uh, entry on the list, which is Orbiter Finance. We have talked about this a couple of times before, but it's worth mentioning, especially now because Linea Bridge is actually super slow. So the fastest way to actually move assets to Linea right now is through Orbiter Finance. This is the fastest bridge that you can basically use and I really recommend using this one. And so for that one, I recommend you know doing trades or bridges over a value of $100 or more, maybe multiple ones, but I do not recommend always providing any liquidity to these bridges because there has been fundamentally too many hacks of bridges as of late and I haven't luckily, you know, gotten into those traps, but it's just something that it's it needs to be said about um, you know, all of these bridges, they're not exactly the most secure things. They're actually very vulnerable for many reasons. But Orbiter Finance have already kind of hinted out that they're going to be doing some form of an airdrop uh, at some point. So that is why I basically use them to swap out. And I have used them in the past. It's probably my go-to-go -go, uh, bridge alongside with Hop. Moving on. Uh, we have Bookmaker, and this is one of these, you know, adapts which I have already featured on the channel before. I have a full individual review, and this is basically very simple. It's a betting website. It has a lot of MMA stuff, like UFC here. Uh, you have football. You have sometimes other things like baseball, rugby. Hopefully, they're going to be adding out some esports. And then there's also like a games tab, which they're going to be releasing in the future. So this is like a whole casino ecosystem, which is powered by Azuro. And there's likely going to be an Azuro airdrop. Now there's three different chains which are uh, supported here. Polygon, Gnosis chain, which is previously known as XDAI, and Arbitrum. And the you can obviously win money here, which is obviously the point. So I usually bet on the the, the the lowest odds because those are most likely to win obviously but it's not always the best strategy and when you actually do bets you will be getting this azuro score and this will be contribution to the azuro ecosystem when you go into the azuro's website you can see that they are going to be doing the azure launch see the ticker there so yes there's going to be a actual airdrop for the people who have the most amount of score this is currently the top 10 which i'm very far away but um, I have made some even wins, even I don't know much about sports in general. I did a lot of football um, bets and I did, you know, make my money back from them. So something I really recommend doing. There's also apparently in this website liquidity pools, which you can participate on. And that's probably another way. I mean, it has a nice IPR, by the way. So might be something you want to maybe look into in case you don't want to do betting, at least do the pools. But that's a one. Then we have open. Open is basically, well, kind of investment strategies. And this has been around for quite some time, actually, as a application. Um, I think it's not the most easiest, or wasn't at least the most easiest one to use in the past. And you can, like, this kind of like a derivative uh, type of thing where you can do different options. Let's see if we can connect. And it's most likely that they are going to be doing an airdrop at some point because they don't have their own governance token. But um, once again, this is like a bit risky and you need to really do your research here in case you don't want to lose money, guys. So um, just saying. So, you know, know what you're doing and probably, you know, provide LPs, do trades, uh, long and short, you know, 
probably the most safest probably doing technically LPs because you can get liquidated obviously but I always been very big critic of derivatives but um, open is maybe the next um, well I forgot the top's name which did an airdrop uh, whatever uh, then we have Zora and Zora is also in this famous paradigm list which I have basically exclusively only talked about and it's basically Baragdim is basically a VC investor but a lot of the things that they have actually invested in past have done air, airdrops and the thing I was talking about earlier was DYDX which has done so I think like 25% of the things that they have on their list have done airdrops and that's why I've really followed um, open being one of them on those list which have really followed a lot of the dApps and I've interacted basically almost everything that they have on this list for the sole reason because they have such a high uh, airdrop drop rates and Zora is definitely one of those on the list has been around they recently uh, launched their own Zora mainnet um, it is available on Ethereum and Zora and then there was a third one which I believe is Optimism and they have their own um, they sometimes give out these like free tokens these Zorbs and you want to really pay attention these are usually free to mint and basically let's see how this is this is also free so there's a mint fee here um, yeah so basically I want to bridge money when I'm gonna do this later today but basically you want to do mint these orbs and they're probably gonna be one of the uh, parameters for basically getting eligible and obviously buying selling uh, things on this NFT marketplace are going to be also other things um, which are going to make you eligible for the DAT drop. Then we have Yield Protocol, which once again is another on the Paradigms list. This is basically a lending protocol. Historically, lending protocol airdrops haven't been too massive, but they do offer pretty nice APRs for some of the projects, 3%, and that is a constant APR. Um, I believe the USDC percent percentages are really good. So this is 10.88% um, uh, uh, on USDC. Let's see, Ethereum, not too bad, 6.8. Frax is currently at 0. And USDT, well, those are horrible. And it will basically lock out the sums for quite some time. And then you're basically able to uh, acquire them back. And honestly, I'm probably going to be putting out some more USDC. I have featured this before. And again and again and also do they still believe that they are going to be doing an airdrop at some point uh, and currently they are on like version 2 or whatever and there might be some remember to use the right chain so these are all on ethereum and um so whatever the, the website won't load there will be an error next up we have dwork which is also in the paradigm list and this is something i'm probably going to be doing in an individual video soon and this is basically they have said themselves at a crypto fiver but it's not exactly quite like that this is place where people can find bounties if you're like a, running a project DeFi project you can run uh, different types of campaigns here so for example there are already like a lot of big projects here Zeta chain is probably one of the bigger ones which is another one by the way which might be to an airdrop soon and basically there are different like types of bounties here so you can do research stuff and you get paid in that emoji packs discord moderator role um, not too bad so there are a lot of different types of gigs available here which are going to be paying you in their tokens or some other tokens and it's definitely worth looking into you might find you know actual work from here so um, th that's that's something I'd recommend actually like looking into and I'm probably going to be doing a video about this later on but I'm definitely going to be participating on and as you like do things um, you're going to be getting like reputation and that reputation is probably going to be getting you um, the eventual talk and what they're going to be uh, launching at some point so that's just saying so higher revenue share also if you have higher reputation then we have tallyho or Tahoe, and they made, they changed their name uh, just after I reviewed the the wallet, which is kind of annoying. But the, my review is still up on the channel. It's changed a bit, not too much. And this is basically a DA run uh, Web3 wallet. It's basically an alternative to MetaMask. I think it's actually better than MetaMask because uh, they're open source, hundred percent, 
and fully owned by community. They don't have gate blockers and you know globalists on their board or anything. And they are gonna be doing a DAO. And here it says coming soon on chain DAO launches. I don't I haven't run a, read a much about the structure here, but I think it's fair to say that they are gonna be doing some type of a token launch. I think everybody's talking about it. They have these uh, Discord usually. That's probably where you want to join. And there's like governance forums, and um, they have uh, one of those Web three social media tasks. I think it was Quest three or what? I can't remember those names anymore. But Layer three, I believe, where they have things, and you can do quests there, and you will be getting these uh, pops and NFT commemorative NFTs, and those are probably going to be the criteria. Also, you have an inbuilt swap in Tahoe, which is probably going to be another possible criteria for that airdrop. And then we have the Lens Protocol. Recently, Lens Protocol actually released a lot more accounts, so people are able to claim their Lens handle. You should look into your Ethereum address and see whatever you'll be eligible for that. Um, I actually have one. Also, if you already had a one handle, the chances are you might be having an invite. And those invites obviously have value. Um, the Lens protocol has multiple different dApps in it, but basically they all use the same interface. It's very similar to Hive. So there's LensTube, Lenster. By the way, follow me there. I'm at Liger Woods. And there's mostly just interacting with Lenster is probably the way to go, but obviously you can use all of them. Um, Riff would be another one, but let's see like the Lens Protocol Open C, and you can get access to by buying one of these. Um, and this has been a huge, huge volume here, apparently 3000 Ethereum. And the floor was at some point like 100 bucks. And now that more people have gotten in, there has been, um, let's see the analytics. So it might be a bit, you know, maybe not everybody wants to. Yeah, so it was 0 0.05 Ethereum, and then it went to, you know, down from two from that because they introduced so many different accounts. So what I'm saying here is now's a good time to buy or wait a bit more and um, just like do interactions and we can do follow to follow. One of the criteria probably for Lens Protocol is to have certain amount of followers on the platform in order to be eligible. That's probably going to be one of the criteria, uh, just so you know. So Lens Protocol is definitely... Uh, something I do recommend using and yeah I didn't really much have else to add on that and then our second last entry is BRC20 this is basically a marketplace for uh, ordinals and they don't have their own token yet and I think there's gonna be some type of an airdrop perhaps um, happening on this website, the ordinalswallet.com also might be having something. So doing trades, uh, minting out ordinals, these might be forms of criteria and you will be needing the Unisat um, extension. So that's something to do. I don't know if you can provide liquidity. I don't, it's probably not possible, but um, yeah, that's that's probably something you would you wanna look into. I don't actually know, is this already for the ordinals wallet? I'm not sure, but you know I haven't followed this ordinal stuff in a while, so it's uh, out of my, you know. And last entry, we have another NFT thing called Holograph, and what's basically up with this one is that this is part of the Layer Zero, and Layer Zero is another one that has been speculated as an airdrop, but uh, Layer Zero doesn't exactly have shit ton of. Uh, dApps in it right now, so there's not really much you can do outside from bridging with layer zero So this is one of the very few dApps you can basically interact with so you're basically two stones with one you get layer zero transactions and also you're gonna be uh, Getting maybe airdrop through holograph. So this is for example free NFT. There's a very very small fee here attached to it and by the way install wallet guard this is um, recommended uh, tool okay this is not gonna be C market we're gonna be hitting low here to save up on the costs and this is available on only on ethereum apparently but uh, that pretty much um, you know wraps up my video here these are the top 10 dApps there's a lot more maybe we'll do a separate video about these wallets 
and you know we have to do like chain specific hunts as well because there's a lot 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 of things going on we could clearly understand that we are moving into oh yeah so here are the chains mantle testnet do testnet transactions guys that's something i recommend and probably polygon to save up on 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 the costs but um Yes, as I was saying, there's going to be a new airdrop season. I can feel it. It's been kicking out slowly. And we're going to be seeing a lot of things happening in the end of summer and going from there onwards. Bull run, bull run is starting to slowly kicking in with the ETFs and all that stuff. So, you know, now it's time to act. Now it's time to start, not when the drops happen. And then people are wondering, like, why I'm so poor, like, Ugh. you know? So I've been telling you, I've been telling this mantra for ages, guys. But, you know, it's at this point, it's like on you. But thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share this video with other people. Share this alpha. Let's make everybody rich. Yeah, but thanks for watching. See you soon. Cheers.